So today I'm gonna to show you a really quick tip on how to keep emails from falling through the cracks using Hey. So something I do pretty regularly on this channel is I like to create tutorials. And a lot of those tutorials can be a little bit longer. I even have tutorials that are like a three part series that span over an hour in length collectively. And then I've got a little bit on the shorter side of video tutorials, which are somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 10 to 15 minutes. But something I'd like to toss into the mix every now and then is a shorter tutorial, something that's gonna be around five minutes or maybe even less. And that is what this video is here today. But before we dive in, I wanted to quickly illustrate what the problem is so that it makes sense, the solution that we're going to incorporate in order to solve it. So every now and then you have somebody that you need to email Email. Only problem is that maybe they're not that great at getting back to you. Maybe you have to follow up with them many times. Maybe you work with clients. I've experienced this many times myself and they're very communicative throughout the entire process of the project that you're working on them with until you're asking them to pay your invoice. Then all of a sudden it takes five, 10 days to respond, sometimes a month magically they seem to have fallen off the face of the earth. And if you get really busy, you don't really have time to detect how much time is. So whether or not you have a client that's not paying an invoice or whether you have somebody who just is a little bit slower or not quite as consistent in getting back to you, it helps that you have a way, a method in place to be able to follow up with that person to ensure that whatever end goal you have with the emails that you're sending, you get a resolution and that you don't have to add it to your calendar or to your to-do list. So I mentioned a little while back that I use a email service by the name of Hey. And one of the things I like, one of the many things that I like about Hey is they're continually improving it. They're making email faster and more efficient, especially with the quick feature that I'm going to show you here today. Okay, so that introduction was already too long. So let's go ahead and jump right in so you can take a quick look at how to follow up on emails that you send with Hey. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into Write. So we're gonna be sending a new email. So this is actually my email address. Obviously, we're just going to be doing a test here. Obviously, you wanna be a little bit nicer when you're with your emails, but we're just doing this for an example. Okay, so we have finished setting up this email. We're ready to send it. Obviously, you could save it as a draft. You can schedule it later, but they have this fancy new little button right here, which is these little bubble icons. So all I have to do is click on that and then you get to pick a specific date. So we're gonna send and schedule this to bubble up. What that means is that let's say we want to, we're gonna send it immediately, but let's say if they don't reply back to me by Wednesday of next week, I want to go ahead and send a follow-up email. I've set next Wednesday. Uh, so next Wednesday, if they have not responded to that email, this is going to bubble up and it's going to pop up into my inbox. So then all I have to do is send and schedule to bubble up. And there you go. Now I've got this list of things that will bubble up. So next Wednesday, if I haven't received a response from this individual, it's gonna pop into my inbox telling me that I need to send them another message or defer this back any further if I need to. Again, if I want to change this, let's say Wednesday comes around, I can change the deadline or change the date where I'm gonna follow up so that it pops back into my inbox to provide me a reminder to follow up. It's a lot better than clogging up, you know, a list of follow-up flags or something like that that Outlook has naturally. This is a lot easier, more robust to use if you decide to change your mind later. So like I said, just a really quick tip for you today. I am not sponsored by Hey. I just really like the tool. I like the service. So I'll leave a link in the description if you would like to check Hey out, which I highly recommend. And as always, if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.